Okay, we're at uh, Revelations, the 8th chapter, verse number, starting with verse number uh, 3. And, you know, the angels have just been given seven trumpets. Not, not eight trumpets, not nine trumpets, because perished, according to many of the pre-tribulation rapture preachers, they all say they, they try to say that the the last trumpet that Paul talked about when the rapture takes place that he said it was going to be the last trumpet was going to sound at that time he, they try to say that that the seventh trumpet by the seventh angel in revelations is not the last trumpet so because you know why they try to say that because if it if it is the last trumpet, if that if that seventh trumpet is the last trumpet in Revelations, if that's when the, the rapture takes place, that completely destroys the whole pre-tribulation argument and theory. So, those who are selling their books and tapes and DVDs about the pre-tribulation rapture of the church, they will have to. If they're honest, they would have to come out and say, hey, I was wrong. They would have to come out on the TV program and say, hey, you know, I apologize. I was wrong. So, you know, I, this is my second challenge to the pre-tribulation rapture preachers and teachers. And anybody who wants to comment on this video, if you have proof that the seventh trumpet in Revelations is not the same as the last trumpet Paul talked about in 1 Corinthians 15 chapter 52nd verse then come forward with your Bible chapter and verse come forward with your your evidence your proof because it doesn't matter what you think what I think what you believe what I believe what what you imagine what you assume what you speculate you can save all that because it don't matter. Only thing that matters is what the Word of God says, and we, and we cannot add anything to it. Let me let me go and read this verse real quick right here, in Revelations, the twenty second chapter, and the eighteenth verse, and I'm gonna read it from the Amplified version to give it even more clarity. Twenty second chapter, and the eighteenth verse. And this is what it says. I personally solemnly warn everyone who listens to the statements of the prophecy, the predictions and the consolations and admonitions pertaining to them in this book. If anyone shall add anything to them, God will add and lay upon him the plagues, the afflictions and the calamities that are recorded and described in this book. Verse 19, and if anyone cancels or takes away from the statements of the book of this prophecy, these predictions relating to Christ's kingdom and its speedy triumph, together with the consolations and admonitions or warnings pertaining to them, God will cancel and take away from him his share in the tree of life and in the city of holiness, purity and hallowedness, which are described and promised in this book. Now, Verse 20, he who gives this warning and affirms and testifies to these, saying, to these things says, yes, it is true. Surely I am coming quickly, swiftly, speedily. Amen. So, it, so let it be. Yes, come, Lord Jesus. So there, we, we cannot add nothing to the Bible unless you want to lose your, your place in the kingdom of God. And we cannot take nothing away from you know, the prophecy. And, and the word, the word of uh, the prophecy of, of Revelation, we cannot add nothing to it, and we cannot take nothing away from it. So, it's a warning to all you pre-tribulation rapture teachers out there and preachers. If you got proof, Bible chapter and verse, that proves that that last trumpet of that of that seventh angel, that seventh trumpet of the seventh angel in Revelations. Is not the same as the last trumpet that Paul talked about in 1 Corinthians 
where he talked about the rapture of the church was going to be at the sounding of that last trumpet. If you say that that's, those are not the same trumpets, show me your Bible chapter in proof, and proof and verse in proof and, 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 and prove it. If you can't prove it, if you don't want to prove it, if you're hiding and ducking and dodging, but you're selling books, you're selling tapes, and, you, and you're steady preaching about the pre-tribulation rapture, that's dishonest. That's being dishonest. And that, the servant of the Lord, is not, does not do things that way. Okay. Back to Revelation chapter 8. Verse number 3. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar. Verse 4, And the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. Verse 5, And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. Verse 6, chapter 8, verse 6. And the seven angels, oh, by the way, before I go on with the, the, the trumpets, I, I did a little research. And when Paul wrote the letter to 1 Corinthians, that was around uh, AD 55. AD 55. About, about 20 something years after Christ had been crucified. According to, according to the Amplified Bible. Now, the book of Revelation that, 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 that John wrote, that was not written, according to Unger's Bible Dictionary, 1966, the best date for the writing of the book of Revelation was around A.D. 95 to 96. A.D. 95 to 96. That's like what about 40 years after Paul wrote 1st Corinthians so so Paul did not have the revelation but by the Holy Spirit it was revealed to him that the trumpet that sounds at the time of the rapture would be the last trumpet now Paul's uh, John's revelation that he received it doesn't use the word last but if you're only given seven trumpets and there's no more trumpets after that seventh angel sounds his seventh trumpet then doesn't that mean that it's a la the last trumpet okay unless you want to add another trumpet to the prophecy which I'm not going to try to do that because <laughs> I'm not going to put myself in a position to receive no plagues and no calamities for disobeying God's word and for and for being presumptuous enough and assuming and, and speculating and teaching my speculation and my assumptions and my presumptions to other people. I'm not going to do that. I'm going strictly by what the word of God says. And what it says is, let me get to the seventh trumpet because I'm running out of time. First, the sixth angel, the sixth angel sounded. Verse Revelation 9th chapter, verse 13. The sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, saying, Loose, loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. Okay, and then you can read what happens after those angels are loose. Then in chapter 10, we come to verse number seven let's let's start with verse number number one and i saw another mighty angel come down from heaven clothed with a cloud and a and rainbow around his head and his face was as it were the sun and his feet as pillars of fire and he had in his hand a little book open and he set his foot right foot upon the sea and his left foot on the earth and uh 
let me continue in my next and you know my next part to this.